Hey, this is Luke Simons with Salt Strong. Today we have another fun line abrasion strength experiment. In this one, we're going to be analyzing how a, a braided line compares to a mono line when rubbed up against an abrasive uh, abrasive surface. So this, we're going to do really two two different cases. Uh, one of which is going to be the side to side motion. So for those who don't use a, a mono leader. If you go straight to the hook, we're going to analyze, you know, how prone braid is, if it's better or worse to, to hold up to like a bass or, or some sort of a, a fish with a rough mouth that does, you know, the side to side, uh, you know, head shake motion. And then secondly is we're going to do uh, this. This is sandpaper mounted on a pole. So I'm going to twist the pole and that's going to resemble the line, you know, going uh, vertically uh, like around a, a piling or, you know, some sort of of structure like a fish is taking out drag and going around a dock post would be an example. You know, which line can hold up to it best? Uh, I, I did one test on here and I was shocked at the results. And so I think you might be as well. And these lines that we're testing, they're both rated at 20 pounds. We just wanted to keep that element uh, fair. Or right, before we get started, let me just uh, show you how this works in case you haven't seen any of the, uh, the prior tests. So we basically have the two lines, you know, that are wrapping over sandpaper and they have some tension weights tied to each of them. They're both you know, the same weight, so we have the same tension applied to both lines, and this sandpaper is mounted on a, a wooden pole that we can, uh, we can move side to side, and that's gonna be the, you know, the side to side test, but we also can twist it just to get, you know, to basically emulate you know, what the line would be experiencing when it's, when it's being pulled across uh, uh, vertically across a uh, like, again like a dock post. So the first one we're gonna do is the side to side test. Let you know the results there, and then we're gonna do the uh, the twisting aspect and let you know that as well. All right. So the first test we're gonna do the side to side motion test, side to side abrasion. So the braid is the yellow, the mono here is on this side, the clear, and then we're gonna go ahead and uh, and get started. And this is the one that I tested before and was shocked at how fast it happened. And so you just saw it, the braid literally disintegrated on the first, on the first test. So we're gonna go ahead and, and uh, keep on moving this mono and see how much longer it can stand. But again, that was, uh, that was pretty shocking how quickly that braid disintegrated. Again, this is both 20 pound lines and that braid was like a, a one oscillation and I haven't really been counting here, but it's clearly the mono is much better. All right, so that was first test, and that is similar to what I saw before. It was completely shocking how quickly the braid just disintegrates when rubbed against a, a rough surface in that side-to-side -side motion. So we're gonna go ahead and just do it one more time. We're gonna switch sides just to make sure that there wasn't some sort of oddity in the sandpaper. I'm confident there wasn't, but just to, just to have a test be fair, we're gonna do that. All right, so we have test two of the cross abrasion. We have the mono over here on this side, the braid over here in the yellow, and let's see if the braid can, uh, can last longer, but I imagine it's gonna go really fast. So there's one, oh, and then there it goes. So again, that was not an anomaly with the sandpaper. Uh, that is just, again, that's nowhere close, and I almost say, We'll go ahead and call that one quits. I don't even need to break this one. And then, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna retie, and then we're gonna get this ready to do the, uh, the vertical test next. All right, so now for the final test, and this is gonna be, I'll, we'll call this like the, the drag ripping test, right? Where you're fishing docks, the fish is running, it's running down the dock, and it's rubbing your line against a piling. You know, what line are you better off using, braid or mono? And so we have them both rigged up the same way. I'm just gonna twist this pole, and so it's gonna be just a perfectly, uh, you know, direct uh, vertical tension against the line, and, uh, and we'll see, see what happens. So let's go ahead and get started. Try to keep the tape right there in between the two. And there you have it. There was the braid, again, just got eaten up way faster than the mono, and that, that completely shocked me. I've been, I've been doing, you know, a lot, pretty much using braided line while dock fishing. And after checking this out, I'm personally gonna have one, uh, one reel rigged up with mono just to, just to you know, see the on the water performance, just to make sure that adds up. But this is shocking, right? I'm still going and this is again a 20 pound mono against a 20 pound braid. 
and it's just no contest. That's been a, a big, big surprise that I was not expecting. I always thought that Braid was going to be the winner for a, a test like this, and uh, and if the, if you see something, if you're seeing something that, that I'm missing as far as this analysis, please don't hesitate to let me know. This isn't a uh, hey, this is the, this is what it is, and uh, it's final. This is more of a discussion. So yeah, any comments you have, any things that we can change, you know, be sure to to leave a comment down below and, and let me know and I'll be happy to make the change. Because I yeah, just truly want to just find you know, the, the best line for the, the various applications that we're going to use on the water because nothing is worse than having you know, fish of a lifetime get off, uh, especially if it's a, a line failure, right? If it's, it's, it's on us to choose the best lines for every application and this is just going to be really the start of a discussion to, uh, to cover that and to make sure that we're all making the, the proper decisions. So, so any, uh, any questions or feedback, you know, don't hesitate to leave a comment down below. We, uh, I, will check, I will check them all. So thank you so much for your time in watching this video. I'm going to be doing a lot more tests on various lines. So if you haven't seen your favorite line come out yet, uh, leave a comment down below with your favorite line and I'll be sure to keep an eye out for it on my next shopping spree. But otherwise, yeah, thank you once again. I hope you can get out on the water soon and catch some big ones. Something about the water that'll give you peace All by yourself or with your family Live salt strong and wet a line today